Today we are back on my restaurant to answer a lot of your questions because, well, it's pretty safe to say that for the last 24 hours, things have gotten pretty crazy. So as I'm sure many of you know by now, currently as I am recording this video, there is 97,000 players on my restaurant. But because of all the hype that's going on with my restaurant right now, because everybody wants to get that pet over on Pet Simulator X, there's been a huge influx of new players coming in, especially players that are extremely behind because unfortunately they never played the game before or they just really don't understand what they need to do in order to accomplish this 100,000 served customers after the 31st update. Now I'm going to try my very best to go ahead and do a double upload today but for this very first video we're going to be covering pretty much from the moment that you start off the game all the way until you've served give or take about a good 300,000 customers. So to get started with this let's go ahead and transition over to my alt account where I went ahead and started a level one all over again. All right, so here we are. We are now officially on my brand new account that I sort of made yesterday. And that's a complete lie. I've actually had this account for a really long time, but I've never actually played my restaurant. At one point in time, I went ahead and actually jumped into this game and I was going to make a noob to pro series on this account. So if I open up my settings, you'll notice that there is nine hours played on this, but I want to say about six of those hours were me just kind of standing around or communicating with people and literally no progress was made on this account the extra three to four hours that are on here was me playing yesterday trying to get a beginner layout kind of prepared for you guys so you can go ahead and know what to do when you start off at level one now if i open up my furniture you'll notice that i do have one royal table and two royal chairs the reason that I have this is because during the Halloween event, you were able to complete certain quests and as a reward, you were given this. But throughout this entire play period, I went ahead and made sure not to use this. So I would kind of get a general idea on how long it's going to take you guys to make at least your very first $100,000 cash. And to do this, you're going to be using this layout that I currently have here in the background. Again, it's nothing too crazy. And for those of you that are late game, you're probably like, uh, you know that's not really all that but you have to keep in mind that this is for people that are just starting off the game over here if you notice i currently have eight tables down on the floor when i initially started this entire build i only had four tables if we come over here to the shop and take a look at the tiki table price you'll notice that this is 200 dollars, which is actually fairly easy to go ahead and get your hands on aside from the tiki table you also want to purchase the cheap chair there is no need for you to go ahead and purchase anything else here because it is just purely cosmetic and you're going to be wasting money for no reason. The only time when it stops being purely cosmetic is when you start getting into the pirate chairs as well as the beach chairs. But to be realistic, 95000 as well as... 120,000 for pretty much the beach set right there, which technically speaking, it's going to be more than that because you're going to have to buy more chairs. And over here, the pirate chair being 80,000 with the table being 350,000. It's just not practical to be focusing on that or even worry about that in the slightest bit when you first start off the game. Now, in the description of this video, I will have a link to both of the separate graphs of the two layouts that I'm going to be showing you in today's video. So if you guys want to follow along with me while I'm kind of showing you guys everything around the entire restaurant, feel free to. But if you want to go to the description right now and click on either the beginner layout or the intermediate layout, which the one that I am currently showing you right now, which is this one here, this would be the beginner layout. Now, while I will not go ahead and kind of destroy this and rebuild it because it's really an evolving kind of layout when you're first starting off keep in mind you're really only going to use this till about i'm level 14 right now and i still have it but you're really only going to use it till about level 12 because by level 12 i already had a hundred thousand cash now the reason i said this is going to be evolving is because like i mentioned before you're going to start off with probably about two tables then you'll turn those two into four tables and then those four you'll turn into six and then finally eight eight is where you're going to go ahead and stop and build the rest of this going on which as you're adding more tables you're going to go ahead and scoot all of this backwards so in other words when you currently only have four tables the dishwashers as well as the cooks will be right up against right here where these chairs are once you start including more tables then you go ahead and push it all the way back here to its current location which overall is really not that complicated but 
the really important thing that you guys have to keep in mind here is the filler items that I have all around. I know it's kind of crazy to say, but these are the most important things. If you notice, customers are coming in and they're walking up to this empty spot that I have right here, which then they go ahead and kind of teleport over to their chairs, as well as customers that are leaving will actually walk up to this hole right here, if you notice right there, and they exit out of right here instead of the front door. All of my waiters will be stacked up right over here, while all of the cooks will be stacked up over here. At the same time, if you notice, this is extremely important because you want to obviously control where all of the NPCs are going, so that, that way you can minimize as much walking as you can. Now again, keep in mind, I did not title this video as the best layout in the world because it is not there's a lot of different factors that are going to determine how much you are making per hour as well as how many customers you're making per hour including lag that's definitely something that you want to go ahead and keep in mind now the only other thing that i have to say about this layout before we go ahead and pretty much destroy the entire thing so i can actually build the second layout with you guys is the dishwashers as well as the stoves if i go ahead and open up my appliance here you'll see that i have three cheap sinks as well as four better stoves inside of my inventory right now the reason for this is because when you first are creating this you want to go ahead and use the cheap sinks as many as i have right here over time you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade these obviously as you can afford them but for the most part the ones on the outer bands you can pretty much keep as cheap sinks until you transition over to the intermediate build the only ones that i recommend that you really upgrade are these three that are in the inside keep upgrading those over time so that way you don't fall behind when you do switch over to the intermediate layout same thing goes for the stoves back here make sure that you go ahead and upgrade these as often as you can currently i believe these are the stainless steel ones or i'm not entirely sure they're i believe the fourth one down let me just double check here yeah, it's the fourth one down, so it's the double stove. This stove, you're going to be holding on to this one for quite some time because you will be skipping the high quality stove. It just takes up way too much room, and I just feel like the high tech stove is way better to make that transitional upgrade. Dishwashers, on the other hand, since you will be reducing down from the amount of dishwashers that you currently have to just three for the intermediate layout, you definitely want to focus on upgrading these as much as you can. In our case, we're more than likely going to upgrade to the stainless steel dishwasher because the high tech one is just too expensive for what I can afford right now, but it's not a big deal because with this upgrade, and the changes that we're going to be making to our layout right now, we'll be able to make this 100,000 plus more back a lot quicker. Now, something that I want to point out that I forgot to mention at the very start of this, all of these builds or all of these layouts that I'm showing you in this video today are completely done without any game passes whatsoever. I do not own any game passes on this account. Since I do know a lot of you that are watching this probably don't have the bigger restaurant game pass therefore your restaurant is a 14 by 14 making it really difficult for you guys to follow along with a lot of the videos that i currently have on my channel because a lot of those layouts are for 16 by 16 restaurants which is the ones that have the game pass available to them so let's go ahead and teleport back now and we're going to go ahead and close down our restaurant so all of the customers leave and get started on the intermediate layout again the link to the doc file will be in the description. Make sure that you guys go and check it out. It will give you an exact explanation on what you have to do to go ahead and build this inside of your restaurant. All right, so to get started here, let's go ahead and open up the floor menu, wipe floor, and then we're gonna come over here to the shop and we're gonna purchase the remaining tables that we need. In total, we're gonna need 31 of these tiki tables in order to go ahead and complete the first floor. I have eight right now, so let's go ahead and grab the rest of these. 26, 29, and 32. So we have one over and we're still sitting at 159,000. For chairs, I think I'm pretty good, but regardless, we'll go ahead and uh, purchase some more if I need to. Now, for those of you that were playing my restaurant back when I used to actively cover this game, you'll probably see that this layout is kind of familiar because it is similar to the Yoya one, except that I've gone ahead and personally made a couple of uh updated changes to it but for these updated changes we're going to need some time so what we're going to be building right now is going to be what you'll be using assuming you are level 14 with only give or take 100 to 150 thousand coins so again we're going to start off from the top left hand side just for reference the front door is right behind me teleporters in the top right hand side go ahead and make a space 
put a table down and make a straight line going all the way down to the wall. Go ahead and make two spaces and do the same exact thing going all the way down. Please ignore that because I just messed up there, but there we go all the way straight down. Next, you're gonna do the same exact thing over on the right hand side, leave one space away from the wall and make a line straight down. Then next to that, do the same thing, leave two spaces and another line straight down. So at the very end, you will have something similar to this. Again, there's for reference, the front door, should be looking something like this. Now, using this window in front of me as a reference point, go ahead and rotate this, leave one space away from the window and place another table down right there. Then go ahead and under that, leave two more spaces and place another table down. For the last and final table, you'll be placing it from the front door here. So you'll be leaving one, two spaces and then placing it down. And that right there is pretty much what you will be working with as far as tables. If you're looking at the document file, you'll probably notice that there is over here on these corners, there is green squares that is saying either silver tray or gumball machine. In the event that you have enough money for that, but you don't have enough money to go ahead and make some of the late game builds, which I will go ahead and do a follow up video with that layout later on. You can go ahead and delete this table and put six gumball machines inside of here and delete this table over here and put six gumball machines right here. For the final place, you will put two gumball machines right in front of the door and that will make you a little bit of extra cash. Again, this is the affordable way of doing it. There's obviously better machines that you could place down or even big tip jars to give you more money. Now, if for some reason you are following this and you have maybe full royals, you can go ahead and put down full royals if you can. And if you can afford silver trays, then you definitely want to not put gumball machines here. And instead, you want to fill six silver trays. Keep in mind, I'm calling them silver trays because I'm not speaking about the luxury tray. But yes, you can put six of them down right here, six in that corner over there as well, and two here in the center. Now, if you notice, looking at the document file, you'll probably see that there is also three more silverware trays that were shown on these tables right here in the center. And it says no clipping silverware tray. It's very simple. You basically put down the silverware tray right next to it, and then you rotate this and try to land it so that that way the silverware tray is inside of the table. It's a really old trick, but something that'll be very useful in this case. But anyways, we cannot unfortunately afford that at level 14. So I'm gonna be placing back down my tables and now we're gonna work on the kitchen section. Go ahead and grab your stoves and you will be leaving one gap away from this section right here. So leave that one gap, place one stove down here, another one here, rotate this one, face it towards the order stand, and then rotate this one and face it towards the order stand as well. Next, go ahead and grab your dishwashers, rotate these also facing towards the order stand and place them in the exact places that I am doing right now. Again, I am rotating it so that it's facing the order stand and you're gonna have this kind of like L format here. For the very end, grab your order stand, place it right over here, and you are officially good to go. Next thing that you gotta do is just place down all of your chairs, which we're gonna go ahead and uh, transition over to me doing that right now. All right, so at the end, this is more or less what your layout should be looking like. Now, before I go ahead and actually make any purchases of staff, I'm gonna show you guys how many staff I had at the time that I was running the first store, which again, give or take about four hours or so is what it took me to get these to level 50. This is important because a lot of these things are going to factor into how much money you're making, as well as how many customers are being served inside of your restaurant. Keep in mind, in no way am I saying that you are going to be getting 100,000 served customers with this layout before the remainder of this week we are building up so that that way you guys can go ahead and get to the point where you're able to comfortably serve 100,000 customers. I'm going to be pushing out different layouts all week long so you guys can progressively follow along with me based on how much money you have, what level you are, how many staff members you have, and what level they are. So let's go ahead and open up this restaurant just so I can get a general idea and I can show you guys what the flow is going to kind of be looking at. Keep in mind, this account only has 
two floors. Hey, yo, look at me getting a Santa Claus and some elves. Kind of crazy. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty confident that the way that it used to work was the more floors you have, the faster the spawn rate of customers coming in. Again, it's been a very long time. I don't really remember. It's been two years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and be that guinea pig to try this out. I'm going to purchase floor number three, 24,000. And floor number four is 85,000. This is pretty much going to take a huge chunk of my income. But honestly, it's perfectly fine because it's all for the sake of science. I will say I am noticing them spawning a lot quicker now they seem to be coming up actually pretty frequently now if we take a look over here you guys will notice that there is currently a buildup happening inside of my order stand and a lot of this is my own fault and it's because i did purchase the floors initially that money was supposed to be used to upgrade my stoves to avoid that issue but again it's really not a big deal because we still have room for upgrade which is the most important thing and that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you guys this will eventually get to a point where i will have these ovens upgraded and this will not be an issue pause why did i just now realize that i put down the wrong stoves i'm sure some of you are watching this video and you probably just watched the last like two minutes and you're like dude you have the wrong stoves down i know i just caught on right now so let's uh let's make that swap out really quick all right so now that we fixed that issue there should be a huge difference uh yeah <clears throat> sorry about that either way it, it was kind of a good thing because it shows you guys what happens if you don't upgrade your stoves in a situation like this because if you notice now it's going really really smooth we're getting customers in orders are being sent out instantly and the order stand is not completely filling up that's exactly what we wanted currently it's taking about two seconds every single plate or i think it's like three seconds for every plate to get done and dishwashers over here for the most part seem to be what's kind of lacking right now which is originally what i had in mind I didn't really think that the stoves were going to give me a hard time, but I did know that the dishwashers were, which I was fully prepared for that because again, the dishwashers were going to be a lot cheaper than upgrading to the stoves that were 90,000 a piece. But yeah, if you guys notice, now we've got ourselves a full house plates are being sent out the order stand is not getting completely overwhelmed and for the most part the dishwashers haven't gave out on us just yet. And on top of all of that, we're making some pretty crazy money right now. So again, guys, you want to go ahead and kind of use this layout, make upgrades to your appliances over time as you're using this. I would say that you can comfortably use this layout until you have three luxury stoves or sorry, I think it's like five stoves that you need. So five luxury stoves and three of the luxury dishwashers. The reason I say that is because the next layout that you'll be working on after this point, it's going to require a lot more luxury stoves and a lot more luxury dishwashers because you will be going at a much larger scale and that will now be my next video i hope this video went ahead and helped you guys those of you that are just getting started with the game like always if you guys have any question whatsoever make sure to join my discord it is discord.gg slash carbonmeister link to that will be in the description as well as both links to the two graphs that i went ahead and created will also be linked in the description with their own little titles next to them first layout that i showed you is the beginner one second one will be the intermediate like i mentioned before guys these might not be the world best layouts but i'm at least doing my part to help you guys out get ready for friday of next week so you can go ahead and get your hands on that chef cat that's gonna go into for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe drop a like on this video share it with a friend but i'll see you guys in the next one take care